Welcome to the catwalk that is the tube. We decided to do a special show for you and we'll get dressed nicely and go see the future of fashion. How can technology change the way we think of what we wear and well, should it? Let's find out. 3D printing is, as we've been saying on the show for the last two years, already changing the world. But as time goes by, we start to understand the possibilities of 3D printing. For a long time now, the fashion industry has been trying to understand how to harness tech to start thinking about clothes, how we make them and how we deliver them to the customer. One of the pioneers in this field is Danit Peleg, who managed to print her entire collection with a 3D printer at home and made some serious international buzz. So, we brought her here. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening. Uh, well, indeed, lots of buzz. Yes. Um, let's go to the beginning. Uh, how did you decide to print a collection? So two years ago, I was doing an internship in uh, New York, mm -hmm. um, and I was working with uh, three fashion designers. Uh, the name is uh, Trias Four, and one of the main centerpiece on their collection was uh, two dresses that were three D printed. Mm -hmm. um, so I got a chance to, to touch it and use it and work with it and. The dresses was made from industrial machine, a huge machine that cost a lot of money, and you have only one shot to make it happen. And also the, the, um, the material was very hard plastic, so mm -hmm. the models couldn't move with it, it couldn't sit with the... It was like a sculpture with, on the body yes, of someone. exactly. Uh, so Why only one time to make it, out of curiosity? Uh, because you have uh, like one shot, because the printer, the, the printing, process is so expensive so you can't make changes you just you have what it it is what it is okay um so i was very curious about it and i came back to israel and i was uh got a chance to make uh, my final collection for shankar university mm -hmm. which is uh, my fashion school and uh, i decided to start my research and to understand why people are not printing their clothes at home so and then a collection tell me a little bit about it um so basically I was very curious to understand if there is any material that could be flexible and 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 fun and you can you can see it here it's very it feels nice on the body and uh, so so the research at the beginning was about the right material and the right printer and to to understand how can I make it happen mm -hmm. um so this collection was, uh, uh, I had like five uh, models. It was uh, um, five outfit. Mm -hmm. um, and I wanted to be 100% 3D printing. Amazing. Uh, let's check out the video you made uh, about the collection. It got four million views already? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> in amazing. In two weeks. In two it's, weeks. It's crazy. So let's add another view and we'll continue talking in a sec. I wanted to create a ready-to-wear collection printed entirely at home, using printers that anyone can get. I've spent the past year searching for the best solution. I worked with leading experts in the field. I really like the result. It looks a little bit like lace. And it moves beautifully. Oh, they photograph well, the clothes. <laughs> yeah. um, so let's talk about these little printers you had in the video. You bought them? So um, I was very lucky to get sponsorship for everything on this collection. Mm -hmm. I was working with a, a lab that's called Tech Factory Plus, uh, which is in Tel Aviv. Um, and they helped me to uh, to rent the printers and to, to from, they helped me with the print time. and. 
So basically, what you what, what was your lab? You had like five printers. What was the process? So I was uh, at the end of the project. I was very. Um, um, I had all the deadlines to get to the final project for school, mm -hmm. so so I had to to bring the printer to my house and work with them for 24 hours, uh, 24 seven. Yeah. Um, so basically, the process I had to do I had to make the pattern of the garment, just like a regular fashion design way. Um, I just used an Optitex, which is a software for fashion designer. Mm -hmm. And then I moved it to a software called Blender, which is a 3D software. And then I had to cut it to be on the size of A4. I mean, this is the size of a printer uh, plate. Okay. So I had to cut it and then to put it together, just like puzzle. Um, right after. In Shankar, the school where you uh, where you learn, you know, it's a very very uh, um, good school of fashion. It's known internationally. Do they teach anything similar of how to work with these uh, softwares, with the printers, or is it not there yet? Um, they do teach Optitex, which is uh, pattern making uh, on online on the on computer, but they're not teaching 3D printing. Um, I think we're gonna get there uh, pretty soon. Yeah, me too. Uh, over the past couple of years, we have really begun to see 3D printed fashion actually become well a thing. While you can't exactly say that 3D printed fashion has caught on quite yet, when you begin to see fashion design legends such as Karl Lagerfeld use the technology in the creation of various haute couture pieces, you know that something is really moving. Here is the Lagerfeld show. Fashion has to follow everything that's going on in the world. And I like the idea of the most iconic jacket of the 20th century, redone in a technique it was even not possible to imagine that one day such a thing could exist. All this huge embroidery, there's no tweet we buy here, it's all embroidery. Yeah. And of course we use chiffon and satin, but most of them are embroidered, you know, the dresses with the little pearls, there are over a million pearls on the dress. You know, the craftsmanship, the embroidery, all that is already different. And you can make a more graphic effect in a way. It, uh, it is, uh, in a way, it's more fantasy uh, than ready to wear. It has to be a fantasy, but a fantasy related to reality. Yeah, it's not quite clear what in this collection is printed and what is regular fabric, but what do you think about the fact that big, big designers like Hart Lagerfeld are starting to try and get into the 3D printing game? I think uh, we're, we're getting there. It's just like the music industry. Just a few years ago, we would go to a record store and buy a CD. Mm -hmm. And now you could just download the music you like. So um, I'm, I'm feeling that the fashion industry is going to the same direction. People want to be independent, and people like to do stuff um, on their own. So we're going to see this kind of stuff more and more on the, on the fashion industry. Um, well. Uh, we were mentioning a future where people print their own clothes just like that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how was the re uh, people's reaction to the collection? People want to buy uh, some of the outfits? So yeah, people really want to buy these clothes. It just it's, gets to be very expensive because of the time printing. I mean, this collection took me 2,000 hours to print. Uh, each outfit took around 400 hours to, to make it. What? Again, why? This little piece of green uh, I mean, this green little thing. piece, it's uh, 25 hours. Okay. To, to make it happen. And uh, the printers are very slow right now, and, uh, um, and also the materials are a bit expensive. And, um, and also, they're not made from cotton or, or stuff like this, but... So that's what you do now? You want, also in the future, you want to continue printing clothes and uh, get technology and fashion to work together? So yeah, I really want to open uh, the... Uh, online boutique will be only closed at our files that you can download the file and print it if you have a home printer mm -hmm. but i think we're not there yet technologically so um so in the meantime i'm working on a line which is uh combined with uh, fabrics and uh, 3d printing textile that you can wash on a wash a washing machine and mm -hmm. 
and yeah. Yeah, it sounds super cool. You know, there's a lot of uh, wearable gadgets, and you watch a shirt that can rate your heartbeat, and most of them are very ugly. <laughs> How can you explain that? I mean, sometimes the people who are working on like uh, wearables are high tech companies and mm -hmm. not a fashion designers who who making them. So maybe sometimes it looks like only ready for for the use it's supposed to be in and the design part is on the side um, but I think there are many uh, wearables and uh, great technology that looks fabulous and yeah, cause yeah. I'm assuming some people in the meantime might think that this is just a gimmick what are they missing um, I don't know right now it's like uh, it's gonna take I don't know, like something around 20 years until we're all gonna get a home 3D printer in our house. So right now it looks like a gimmick, but it's only a proof of concept. Um, mm -hmm. um, we're gonna use these machines more and more and we're gonna find them very, um, uh, you know. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I completely agree with you, only I think it's gonna take five years. Eight years, not 20 years. Yeah, before, it's yeah, But it's a really good proof of concept. Uh, as tech and fashion become uh, interrelated, we can already see a future where designs are downloaded and clothes are printed on demand at fashion stores or even at home. But how different these clothes would be from what we wear today? Let's take a look behind the scenes of Danit Pelig's collection show and try to imagine together. It's super impressive. Let's talk some more about the fabric itself. Um, can people wear, I mean, from what I see here, uh, can people wear it without any fabric underneath or with it? Is it supposed to be worn just like this? So, yeah, I can I can control it. I mean, this pattern um, mm -hmm. is much, it's, it's much more, uh, you can see through uh, than this one. So, so I can control the pattern and uh, how it feels, but it feels great on the body. It's, it just. Um... <laughs> no, I mean it, it looks uh, it looks uh, super cool, um, um, but now I'm assuming that some people might think that the materials themselves. I mean, people want to wear fabric, not plastic. You're saying it feels it feels like what on the body? So uh, it feels like rubber. It's it's a rubber like uh, material. Mm -hmm. But in a few years, uh, and I'm sure there are uh, companies who are working on a filament, the, the stuff we put in the machine that will be made from cotton or um, polyester, stuff like mm -hmm. this. We just showed Disney working on a fabric uh, 3D printer. Really? Yes. Interesting. Yes, things that happen. So yeah, it's it's moving so fast. This technology is uh, is moving fast. And uh, being located in Israel while doing that is that the prime location? Um, I think so. I could I could do it. There are labs. Um, there is a lab in Tel Aviv uh, called Excellen, which is perfect for this kind of research. Um, they have printers and they have uh, uh, people who can help you to understand this technology and to get into it. Um, they helped me. I didn't know anything about 3D printing before I start this project. And um, and yeah, Tel Aviv is always our uh, on yeah. top. And it's super technological. Uh, let's sum it up by imagining why is it important, not only useful, um, for people to print their own clothes in the future. I mean, what's the vision there? Uh, the vision is that you will be, um, you could make your clothes to be custom made to your sizes, and it will be perfectly uh, fit for your body. Um, and also, you can you can get. Uh, 
you can get the stuff like the, the fashion fashion mm -hmm. items uh, more easily. Um, that um, I am imagine that uh, companies will have like the latest item online, and you can just download the latest item and have it as faster than to get it uh, uh, from China and all this process. Any chance it might even be cheaper that people uh, you know can get really cheap clothes as well? It might be uh, cheaper. Um, it because it's only the design. I mean, you don't need to do the all. Uh, production that mm -hmm. comes with it right now and it's only like the designer will make designs and it will get to the to people I much, like this much faster future. I like this future very much <laughs> uh, Danny thank you very much thank for coming you, here Jason. Uh, thank you Jason thank for you me. viewers for watching us I hope you enjoyed our fashion show uh, we'll be back uh, with a brand new show tomorrow i24news.tv it's our website goodbye thanks for watching